Opening night here at O, how do you feel after all the adversity, all the challenges, the start, the stop, how do you feel right now? Uh, ecstatic. <laughs> if, you, if you think about what we've been through, for the, all of us have been through, what the performers here at the O Theater have been through for the last 14 months, I mean, it's been dramatic. It will be something we never forget in our lifetimes. But Las Vegas is about entertainment. It's about iconic things that happen here. And O has been one of those, almost since, not since day one, but in recent history, the modern history of Las Vegas, this is the foundational piece of it. And so to be able to stage it tonight, to be able to welcome all of these uh, performers back tonight, and for, you saw what happened out there with the parade. All of our employees take this to heart. So it's the beginning of Las Vegas again. Um, and so, yeah, we've been open for a long time now. The last 100 days have been incredibly unbelievable. But entertainment is what this community is all about. It's what the essence of MGM's brand is all about. And at its foundation is a show called O. And it's been going for 22 years. It is without a doubt the most successful show in the world. If you think about what it's done in terms of box office performance, in terms of sellout night after night. And so to be able to restage it and put it back on, it's just, we're ecstatic about it. And, and we're back. <laughs> so happy about that. Yes. Thank you. Oh, uh, what would be your message to, you know, the folks coming down here to Las Vegas that are making it possible for you guys to reopen again, bringing the economy back? Look, first and foremost, thank you for believing in us, for coming, for trusting that we put a safe environment over the last year together for all of you. You've been tremendous. The last hundred days, I was saying earlier, have been amazing. And now tonight, though, to bring the O Show back, kind of the cornerstone of Las Vegas entertainment today, and be able to get the cast and crew back to work, and ultimately all of our uh, Cirque du Soleil shows, it's special moment for all of us. We've worked very hard for this 15 months to get to this moment. So couldn't be more excited for everybody. Uh, what type of emotions were you feeling uh, what, like parading through the casino with, with performers and all the uh, staff? There? I thought what the coolest part was is we went by Mayfar in the front lobby. We came over here to the showroom. Our employees participating with a lot of joy and glee and pride. That's something they consider part of who and what they are is here again. Uh, it's special. It's just a special moment for all of them. It's been a hell of a 15 months for all of them. And you know, this is kind of the, the cherry on the cake, if you will. And, and to be able to open this tonight to a sellout crowd, as it's always been for 22 years, it feels like we're back, <laughs> is the bottom line. Review journal. Is there any part of this process where you find yourself getting emotional? I, I mean, speak yeah. to that. I, I, like right now. <laughs> um, you know, look, when we opened again, it was very emotional. Um, when, frankly, when January, when we went back down, it was like, like here, oh my God, where are we going with this? Um, but ever since April 1st, and we began to really see some momentum, um, when we put our first show back on at T-Mobile, and it sold out in 17 minutes, I knew fundamentally, we were Las Vegas, and we've created over many, many decades with a lot of vision from a lot of people, so it's gonna be just fine. But, but it's nice to get it back for real, and tonight's for me. Gabby, NBC, you're good? Yeah, good. Any other questions? <laughs> Thank you. You did great. Really oh, good sound there. Okay, good. Okay. <laughs> One more oh, question. I'm sorry. Oh, um, so, what does it say now, just, um, you know, after a year coming back, you know, um, just about the future of Las Vegas, rebounding from the COVID pandemic? Look, I think you all know this. We're running in 90 to 100% occupancies, the community at large. There's so much pent up demand for what we do. People want and need an escape right now. And there's no better place, particularly when you can't travel internationally that easily, than Las Vegas, Nevada, and a place like Bellagio, and a show like Oda Go See. So um, you can walk through the casino right now. It's midweek. It's packed. And so for us, uh, it's all very exciting. And finally. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Beth.